Where the debates start with debates, people. We live in a civilized country. We have debates. We don't fight wars on behalf of my viewpoint or your viewpoint. Mostly, right? What I'm jumping here. People say we, you're telling me people don't fight religious wars. I said no. It's like donning a freaking football jersey and going, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm going to go and kill in the name of Christ. Christ, Christ. What are you killing for him for? If you're a religious person, you follow the Christian faith because you worship its idol. The only idol, which is to you, shouldn't be a false idol because it's Christ. Christ is Christ. Christ says don't kill. Christ is a healer. He's trying to lead people to the betterment of the matrix. Just say like the world's the matrix or whatever. And the Christians go out and fought the wars back in the retard days when they thought that it was okay to kill. It's never okay to kill. They go to places they used to go and they used to kill. In Africa. Germany, France, when they monopolised Africa, split it up and whatever, and then they made a, a fake reason, they made a little little story out of a guy called, um, what was his name? I forget his name because he weren't really that important, was he Hitler? It wasn't his, he wasn't his gig. He was just leading a, uh, a, a general hatred that was born about from their new country they were populating. In, um, yeah, Somalia, they were just like, they just had a thing about the Jews, and so they were like, yeah, yeah, I get that, they're bankers, well, okay, let's have a go, let's do that on there, but yeah, whatever, yeah, we're going to have a gonna have a conflict, we're going to have a few people, I don't know how the wars start, but they're stupid and they're fucking ridiculous, and is that a religious war, World War Two? That's not fair, is it, if you're a Christian, you say, oh, I don't want to be forced to, I don't want to fight in a war, you're karmatically, um, you're karmatically, karmatically degrading my whole life experience people don't have their own sovereignty see and that's what people say there's a war on consciousness because you go my own sovereignty is the most important thing everybody's individual sovereignty is the most important thing if you say you're religious and you like Christ, christ christ was a healer muhammad was a teacher they're both really classical classic individuals universal figureheads for self mastery and it will have been about waking yourself up in a lifetime a buddhist monk chanting om believe it or not is very much like a christ like figure in a way like a fragment of that picture om mind over matter om your stomach or mark once it's happy healthy generally you're not going to have autoimmune diseases and stuff like that so it's like duh Oh, the importance of keeping a stomach happy. Om. Oh, they eat very little, so it's mind over matter. They live long, jokety lives. And then Shiva, the three-eyed god. The 10,000 names of Shiva. What is the purpose of having a three-eyed god that has 10,000 names? Why? Why would that? Well, that's all. Because psychologically it does something to you up here, doesn't it? Because this person has 10,000 names. The one who brings peace, the one who restores justice, the one who, the one who... Egoically, you're doing that and he's your person to idolise. He's no false idols other than... The one who brings fragrance and nutrition. That's come from a place of abundance. So if you're in a place of abundance and you're flourishing, you're not going to have wars, right? This is a common knowledge and people that are thinkers or philosophers know this stuff naturally. They ponder. I'm somebody that ponders naturally. So I go, okay, that's why they have that war. That's not a religious war. They just fool themselves in saying it's religious war because their heads would not for a second condone any of their actions. Muhammad or Jesus condemns them all. Every single person that picks up a weapon that is prepared to kill another them in Lakesh, that's another part of a nice, beautiful spiritual practice. And those teachers like Muhammad and Christ would love the teachings of a circular religion all over the world because is it not the case that he had followers and he had disciples? And people argue that he would have went the Lyon route from France up to into England and he would have taken his knowledge on the Silk Road, maybe. And he would have went to these places and he would be bringing back that ethos. Of like flourishing and why was he a healer probably because he was trying to basically do those things and as much as we think we know about religion we don't really like humanize the story and go oh it's because he's trying to make abundance but when people go they say why are you fighting this war they're trying to bring places up to speed 
right, and have them have a Eurovision Song Contest, or have, so they can have arenas, and so they can be on that world stage, because you're not going to have that if you're like Israel, and they've divided, and they're doing this, and they're conflicting all the time. But the most important part is you should be able to go anywhere in the four quarters of the world. If you don't believe in the grossly <sighs> abomination-like behaviour of war or people even using bulldo- bombs as bulldozers to achieve like up to speedness or whatever the, su- the reason is for the stuff, let people out of the fucking country. Because like I said, progress isn't made because you know, every day is a new day, turn over a new leaf why like i don't like politics and i don't vote because of this reason because it's just bullshit and it's who come it's like you're not doing enough fast enough because you're you're all waged and departmentalized microcosm like in an office department when things don't get done and people's claims get screwed up and this don't happen it's too much paperwork and people get bored really quickly and tired really quickly and it's the same thing it's a tired flogged horse that's self-justifying itself and it's not doing enough in the name of true spiritually enlightened teachings as if you claim to be a christian nation be a christian nation if you claim to be any of those things be the leaders of the nations the christ heal muhammad teach shiva bring more abundance and fragrance and nutrition that's what people that's basically what it comes down to and people say then what's the point of religion because it's big deal, isn't it? Because those are the figureheads of that, and they're, they're, they're practices. I mean, you can just say it in a sentence like I am, and then just diminish the ancient Vedas and the teachers of all the ancestry to nothing and meaningless, because people are a little bit like that these days, aren't they? Oh, we don't need that. But as somebody that had an om necklace, like I say, I've become full circle om, and it's mind over matter. Om. They say that bee keepers have really good health as well because mmm, mmm. And if a Hindu mantra claims that it is healing, then maybe it is healing because it's got so many A's in it. Ah, la, 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 blah, blah, blah. So it maybe it's just like it's a case of what the positive thinking, what you tell yourself, and all the self help books and all the things that are actually out there in the market do actually point all the way back to basically what religion is all about because you're chanting ah, and this is for miraculous healing or whatever but you need those things to tell yourself i said i'll start writing is certain things like made new in his image you only understand the importance of that after you know what it is to be destroyed fully have your heart mind soul destroyed well then you're going to look to the christ teaching aren't you and say oh that's really important that piece of literature because you're teaching it what it is to but it's all very much self-help and psychology and there's a million and one people in the world that are very successful people don't like hate on the person that ain't even got all the way or anywhere up yet that has been studiously following all those people since a teenager and really appreciated what Eckhart Tolle was about to have the blank slate to have the like I can see my thoughts and they are my own worst enemy at times and to know what it is to be a master of that sometimes that seems to scare people like well no it's taking away authenticity or then you're going to make like a drone race of people that's so mastered they'll be like this or this or this and then it's like they go so well it's like when people look like when they're all muslim and they all dress in a certain way it's a little bit non-expressive you're not expressing your individual creativity and then you say you look to artists because artists i'm an artist i articulate why those people created those big things in the first place.